So it turns out that Nintendo isn't one of the 100 most recognizable brands in the world. So I have to admit that this is something that I actually wasn't even really aware of. Apparently a company known as Interbrand um, since 2001 has been ranking all of the brands in the entire world as far as their importance, their profitability, and their recognition. Basically brand recognition, which we talk about a lot, especially in gaming. Um, since this has begun in 2001, Interbrand has always had Nintendo as a part of that list. And it looks like recently, as in just the last couple of days recently, it turns out that Nintendo has actually dropped off that list for the first time. And some people think that this is a really huge, super big deal. And I guess I get why, because if you like any one company or product, even if it's gaming or otherwise, you want to know that other people feel the same way. You want to see it being successful. You want to see it be recognized. You want to hear other people talk well about something that you also love because you know why it's great and why don't other people think that it's as great as I do and that's just how we all look at things I'm totally guilty of doing the same thing in the past as well so um, there was a quote released about this change with Nintendo dropping off of this list which again is something that I only just was made aware of through this piece of news um, here is the exact quote that they say. I'll read this really fast here. While six other Japanese brands, Toyota, Honda, Canon, Nissan, Sony, and Panasonic, yes, Sony was there, by the way, uh, made the list, it was the first time Nintendo has been dropped since the annual ranking began in 2001. Uh, Interbrand Japan CEO Yuka Wada said Nintendo was snubbed apparently because the Kyoto-based game maker is not keeping up with changes in people's lives, pointing to its failure to jump on smartphone bandwagon uh, in a timely manner. Now that entire little excerpt was taken from Nintendo Enthusiast's page in their little news blurb about this. So it's a combination of the quote and some of what was written by Nintendo Enthusiast. Um, yeah, so I guess I just wanted to chime in with some really quick short thoughts um, like I said, some people are treating this like it's a big deal, and a lot of people who are either bitter or jaded with Nintendo or feel like they're making a lot of mistakes, which to be fair, they have made some mistakes, um, think that this is a huge deal. And again, as I said, I do see why, but to tell you the truth, I really don't think that this is a big deal. This list is not something that has really been used as a barometer by a lot of very important people, analysts, websites, news outlets, ever. I mean, I've never even heard of this until recently. I know that Forbes has the Fortune 500 and the Fortune 100, totally different than what this inner brand list is. Now, I do find this interesting, don't get me wrong, and it's also very interesting to know that of all the information and data this company had been compiling for the last uh, 14, almost 15 years now, has shown that Nintendo has been a popular company and that they are very brand recognizable and have been successful. I think that's cool. I was actually happy to learn that Nintendo had been on this list for so long. And when I think about them dropping off of a list like this for the first time in 14 years, that sucks. Like, I think it super sucks, especially because even with Nintendo's mistakes, I still think they're pretty amazing and they're still my favorite gaming company and they're easily one of, if not still the most most brand recognizable in gaming. Well, maybe not the most. I, to be fair, I guess Microsoft has made pretty huge leaps, you know. Sony being on that list obviously is different. That's not just Sony the gaming company. That's Sony the electronics giant, you know, regardless of maybe monetary success the last couple of years. They're still a huge name and very recognizable. But I think Nintendo is too. And I'm surprised to learn that they felt they had to remove Nintendo from this list. Um, you know, the the founder or the, or the fellow that they referenced here speaking on Interbrand's behalf, talking about that Nintendo isn't keeping up with changes in people's lives and the smartphones and this or that. It's interesting he says that because to tell you the truth, I don't think that that's 100% true um, because it was the smartphone movement that helped Nintendo try to make the decision to include the gamepad in the Wii U. Now that obviously has turned out to not be very successful. So I will of course agree that Nintendo didn't quite hit the nail on the head the way they were hoping to with the Wii U and with the gamepad, which is unfortunate, but it's absolutely true. But the thing is, they, they did make that decision with the system and with the controller because of the changes in people's lives and because of the smartphone and mobile and touchscreen movement. So they did make the correct decision there. They just didn't implement it correctly or market it properly. And so I just, I mean, I guess the guy's just kind of speaking out of his ass, so to speak. But uh, if he would have worded it more accurately, he would have said that, you know, despite Nintendo's attempts, um, they haven't been able to find a product that really hit people the way they were hoping to and it hasn't been as successful. You know... 
which is interesting because look at the 3DS success. That's a mobile and a touchscreen device, and people use it like crazy and buy it like crazy. You know, even spitting in the face of this mobile device movement that's been happening the last five to ten years. And it's also making crazy money for them. And the company, despite issues with one of its two major products, is still seeing profit on both sides of those products. Even though the 3DS is trouncing the Wii U in terms of success, and the Wii U sadly has not been a success in terms of what it should be and what Nintendo wanted, the company isn't failing, and people forget that. So... You know, I mean, at the end of the day, this is only so important, but people have been talking about it today. I did find it interesting. I agree that it sucks that Nintendo has unfortunately been removed from this list, but you know what? I just don't think it's that big a deal, and I think that anyone who might be worried about Nintendo or acting as naysayers around this piece of information maybe don't have to worry about it too much. I think Nintendo is in pretty good shape. So, there you have it. That's pretty much that. My quick thoughts on that topic. Definitely one of the shorter videos I've been able to make. Um, tell me what you guys think. You know, like I said, a lot of people have been talking about this today. It seems to be an interesting piece of news for a lot of people, myself included. Even though I don't really put any stock or, or faith into this and what this list really means. And I certainly don't think that this spells any sort of doom or bad things for Nintendo upcoming. Because as we all know, for decades people have been doing that. And for decades people have been wrong. And for decades to come, people will still be wrong when it comes to that but it is an interesting piece of news and i do agree that it sucks that nintendo dropped off this list even though i don't really think it's all that important at the end of the day so what do you guys think is this good news bad news do you love it do you hate it tell me what you guys think thanks for tuning in this is rob of rule of two review and i'll catch you guys next time on another video